We're talking about the many options for powertrains and infrastructure. And uh, you were saying that CS fi only 50 kilometers of road is the cost of that hydrogen infrastructure in Germany. Well, you hear this quite yeah. a lot that ah, infrastructure for hydrogen mm. is such a uh, yeah, yeah. huge amount of money. Yes. But yeah. if you put it into perspective and, and the challenge we're facing today, and it just was recently in, in the German press, mm. 400 hydrogen stations mm. is the same amount than investing in 50 kilometers yes. of highway. Yes, yes. And yeah. uh, if you put that in proportion uh, to all the, the costs we have as a society, mm. if we don't attack climate oh, absolutely, yes, change. Yes, yeah. so, so we have yeah. to move and we have to move yeah. fast. And, and, and one thing yeah. I, I think we as our company, we think it's clear, there's mm. a place for, for each um, yes. kind of energy storage, be it battery, be yeah. it hydrogen. Yes. Just from the consumer perspective and what we see, what we're used mm. to, mm. a hydrogen vehicle is closer to what we use today yes. because we jump yes. in the car, we oh, drive yes, 500 yes. kilometers, yes. we yes. refuel within three minutes yeah. and we don't have yeah. to wait. And yeah. there we, we see a certain disadvantage. Just think about it. You live mm. here in Berlin, so when you go yes. skiing, yeah. I rather prefer to be there mm. quickly yeah. and not stand on a highway mm. and, and charge for even half an hour oh, no, absolutely. to continue. No, 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 no. And mm. the way down, if there are hundreds of, of battery vehicles, yeah. How should we solve this on the highways? Absolutely. Because if they all come at the same time. Yeah. And in, in this context, we feel mm. hydrogen is therefore mm. answering that question. Mm. While in inner city, no doubt, yeah. Yeah. there will be, and, and the discussions are ongoing here as well, with a blue plate you might have yeah. in the future to get access, batteries have a great purpose here. And, right. and yeah. like car sharing, look to Grenoble, we're testing yes. there currently our battery electric vehicles, the, mm. the iRoad. Oh, right, and the yes, comps. Yeah, lovely, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, so you have to fund yeah, it because yeah. It, 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 yeah, yeah, an electric yeah. vehicle can really be yes, fun, yes. but it doesn't have to be big. Yes. And then, even today, the, these mm. little ones, because of the small volume, is mm. not a business proposition where you earn money with, mm. but we have to explore that and, and try that. Yes, yes. And I think yeah. the future will be much mm. more diverse than what we used to in the past, but that's how it is. That's really interesting. What, do, do you know anything about the 48-volt uh, mild hybrids in your company? Are they, the, uh, the argument is that the um, traditional car companies can't convert immediately uh, economically to uh, uh, strong hybrids and pure electric for everything, cars, buses, everything, and that uh, a conventional powertrain it will become illegal, but it could be kept legal uh, by having these 48 volt mild hybrid adaptations uh, so that you, you then make at least a proportion of your cars for maybe for 10 years uh, that, that have a small lithium ion battery and, and the 48 volt system. Is that something of interest? Obviously, I read also about it. Yeah. But yeah. if you talk to Toyota, and I said, well, I, I think we have 8.7 million hybrid vehicles on the road mm. and we can do this profitably. Yeah. So, so uh, what you will see from us, you will see many more uh, hybrids in, in every model range. And, yeah. and, and we have, I would even have to count yes. how many we have on a global scale. I think we have 30 models or more yeah, yeah. that already hybrids today. Yeah. So obviously we look at everything. Yeah. Um, I don't think um, that it's such urgency we have to look in because no. obviously we, we come from no. a different perspective. I understand, but, right. But uh, being not an engineer, I think uh, yes. it, it's not my turf where I would go no. too much yeah. with any information yeah. because I, I would like to ask yes. my colleagues. But yes. as said, yeah. we have the experience, we believe in yeah. hybrids and um, in a way we're very happy because we're yes. not alone. Because when we yes. started 20 years ago, you, you know the, mm. how, how many people yes. reacted. Oh, absolutely. No, are they yeah. insane? That's Why right. are they doing yeah, that? Absolutely. Yeah. I think today it's a reality mm. that we see. Mm. We're in the fourth generation mm. of our Prius. Uh, mm. We have three liter per, mm. um, three liter per 100 kilometers, 70 grams. So mm. we're reaching already targets that are coming in the future. And mm. I, I think um, this is a, a clear pathway we took mm. and we will go along. Mm. and. The hydrogen mm. vehicle is just one one side path of yeah, something of which we yes. have laid yeah. out for many years because we use the same architecture. Yeah. And, and we've been impressed by the fact that you know, people don't sort of realize um, that uh, it's all one business and uh, Toyota's the leader in electric forklifts, I believe, and uh, 
that's a multi, multi-billion dollar business. Uh, those are battery vehicles at the moment on lead acid, but fuel cells have been put into forklifts by other people in America, and various people like Jun Heinrich and the rest have offered forklifts with fuel cells, but with no particular success. Uh, do you have a position on fuel cells in forklifts? Thank you for bringing it up, yeah. because it's, it's also something we're currently testing in Japan. Ah. So we just started a trial, mm. um, b because Toyota is not only focusing on passenger vehicles like mm. the Mirai, uh, we do it in forklifts. Mm. We want to test it and see how, how the reliability and, and how with these working devices. Yes. Um, we are looking also in buses, yes. so, so we are, we are having buses in Japan, mm. because also Tokyo uh, has made a strong commitment towards hydrogen for the uh, 2020 Olympics and obviously right. being a Japanese yeah. car manufacturer we want to contribute to the society also in Japan offering and also uh, passenger vehicles uh, even forklifts maybe yes. that can help uh, to unload the stuff there yeah. and so Toyota is looking at a wide range of mm. uh, possibilities to utilize um, mm. uh, basically fuel cells and to move uh, a hydrogen society forward. Oh excellent and um, Toyota has I think a joint venture in, in aircraft, it's some link to the aircraft industry and uh, also with boats, I think they make some boats but they're just conventional boats, yeah, but is there any interest in moving sideways with uh, fuel cells and other electric powertrains into aircraft and boats? I think it would be a little bit premature. So, so on the really. aircraft <laughs> side, um, mm -hmm. obviously, also here in Germany, there's a lot of activity. If you look at Airbus uh, yeah. in Hamburg, and, and they're looking, obviously, as the support functions where, where yes. a fuel cell could do a great job. Yes. And you wouldn't um, emit, yeah. uh, so to say, toxins yeah. and all that. And this, this is the beauty of... Um, fuel cell. Uh, in our case, uh, yes, we have a boat, yes. that's our recent development, but this is more conventional still, yeah. because the key focus is really to get the vehicles on the road, yeah. uh, because where you see the most prominent is yes. on our Mirai, on the buses, yes. and I think we're looking at all, even household solutions, because you're probably familiar, um, in Japan we have a plug-in there, yeah. Uh, be because in a way, here in Central Europe, we live on an island uh, well, of luxury to a mm. degree mm. because we are luckily not hit by devastating, no. uh, devastating yes. situations. And in Japan, uh, with all the situation, you know, just recently it was an earthquake again. Mm. A Mirai can supply a house with energy for one week. Yep. If you have a bus, you can yep. have a communal uh, house uh, heated for, for uh, a week uh, as well. Yeah. So you, you see also that hydrogen, in a way, if you look about energy, can also uh, yes. fill other functions. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yes, yes. Oh, that's really interesting. So ah. it's even interesting for the yes. US because yes. if you look, um, my wife is American, so I travel mm. there quite frequent. and blackouts how common is this yes. still in the US yes, which we yes. are not familiar with big problem yeah. yes they're not coming up with the money are they no they, not really yeah. Well, tell me about China. You you own Hino Bus, yes? We do. And Hino Bus is uh, not the biggest in buses but the the big market is is China um, which um, we we're, we're disturbed as observers that the government seems to stir up anti-Japanese sentiment, but it certainly protects its industry. And it's very difficult for bus companies, whether it's Daimler or Toyota or anyone else outside of China, to participate in any meaningful way, isn't it? It's a little bit difficult for me to uh, say yeah. because I'm not too close to China no. in, in that mm. sense. But, mm. you know, um, I just recently had a chance to talk here to Chinese Minister Wang Gang as mm. he came on the invitation of the Minister of Transport. Yes. And you don't feel that. Uh, there is mm. a, a lot of openness, especially when it comes mm. to new technologies, despite that mm. every yeah. nation is kind of protecting uh, yes, the yes, local yes, producer. Yeah. I think yeah. this is no question. Yeah. But um, what you see in these technologies, we are working all together. Be because it is not that uh, bad air stops at the border in no, China no, quite, or no. it, it yeah, yeah. stops here in yeah. Germany where we are more in a central position. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Wang Gang was clearly opening up um, his doors as well, working with all mm. the OEMs. They're currently trying to establish something similar we have here in Germany, the mm. Clean Energy Partnership, all right. where not only the yeah. German OEMs, as you see, uh, yeah. Toyota, Honda, uh, yeah. they are also participating here, mm. are joining in to solve these 
questions that are still mm. there because it's a, it's a young technology. Yeah. Uh, it just yeah. came to the market, and obviously yeah. we have to roll out still the infrastructure and all that, and uh, make sure that also the costs come down. So there's a lot of development, and China wants to join in, and I think yeah. this is very encouraging to see yeah. that Wang Gang is inviting yeah. all to join in and to develop together. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe also protecting yeah. a little bit the thing, but I think yeah. in every no, nation good. it's a kind of a no, national sure. yes, yes, I understand. sentiment. I understand. In a way. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It indeed. was a pleasure. Absolutely in intriguing. Thank, thank you. you very much.